And two years after my surgery, my husband and I walked across England, the, from the coast to the coast, from the North Sea to the Irish Sea. And we did it in seven days, and it was 105 miles, and it was very rugged terrain, and holy Moses, I could keep up with everybody in the whole group, and I had no, no pain or anything. Hi, I'm Maureen Nova, and approximately 10 years ago, I received the Mako partial knee replacement on my right knee from Dr. Stone. Oh, well, this was originally from a running injury. I, ha I was running in um, the city of Philadelphia and I didn't realize there was ice. <laughs> we and I slipped and I fell. And then I had about two years of different kinds of treatments um, with an orthopedist um, and I moved to Raleigh. And I did do a meniscus repair on that knee eventually, but it just, uh, the pain just never went away. It just didn't subside, and I wasn't able to return to my activities. It got progressively worse over the months, and then I think it was about three or four years from the injury, and I was never able to return to running. I would, I would try, and I would go, you know, a half a mile, and ugh, it would just stop me in my tracks. So it, and then I, my range of motion just got more and more limited you know, pain walking upstairs, that kind of thing. When I went back to my doctor in um, the orthopedist I was seeing in Raleigh, he said that I would need a total knee replacement. Uh, at the time, that really freaked me out because I, I didn't want to do it. So I started researching options and I read about this men meniscus uh, transplant thing that, and that's what led me to Dr. Stone, but unfortunately I didn't have enough meniscus and my arthritis which was caused from you know the running injury was uh, at that point bone on bone you know so Dr. Stone was not able to do that but he did recommend this Mako treatment and said that you know the recovery you know would be much much better than you know uh, and, and that I didn't need a total knee replacement because the only place that I had the arthritis was right from that original damage you know on the inside of my knees so um, so that, anyway, that's how I got here, and that's that's the treatment that I did. Everything here was amazing. So um, what I did was um, stayed here for eight weeks, so that when I had the surgery, um, I could come to physical therapy here at the clinic every day, which I did, and I think that that helped so much with my recovery process. And I also wanted to be nearby in case you know I had a complication or something. I I just felt like um, they, because they work with the, I say they, the physical therapists that I was working with at the, cl at the clinic here, because they know Dr. Stone's procedures and are familiar with it, whereas when I mentioned it to my doctor on the East Coast that this was what I was going to do, well, he had never even heard of this makeup procedure or knew anything about it. So it felt like I better come and commit to following the program exactly as and I and and the, and the recovery was remarkable because I remember the surgery was on a Friday and I remember we were staying at the Fairmont and I remember walking to St. Mary's Church for for mass uh, that Sunday and I, I didn't have any pain it was the first time and you know when you're used to kind of compensating for the pain and living with the pain you don't you know, you just, it just becomes, you're normal, right? And so I just remember saying to my husband, oh my God, I am walking up a hill and I don't have any pain. So it was just uh, amazing um, that the recovery um, was so, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. It was, it was hard work though. It took a full year before I could really do like everything. I never did return to running. I used to be a marathon runner and I never did want to stress my knee to that, only because I'm a lot older. I think it's certainly someone having this done, you know, at a younger um, could definitely, I think, run again because I have done I am cycling and I, I do that regularly and I have been since my surgery. And two years after my surgery, my husband and I walked across England, the, from the coast to the coast, from the North Sea to the Irish Sea. And we did it in seven days and it was 105 miles and it was very rugged terrain and holy Moses, I could keep up with everybody in the whole group and I had no no pain or anything, and that was one of my goals to be able to, if I wasn't going to be a runner anymore, to be able to do, 
you know, some really serious hiking and some things like that, um, which I have been able to do.